Hello and welcome to another Excel demo with Rich Kerr. This is an update to a previous video where we had an embedded web browser uh, on a spreadsheet and when you would click uh, a cell containing an address it would launch the uh, Google Maps API URL and pull that image into the web browser control. Uh, and a, few, a number of you have asked me for a copy of that file, and I've sent it out on occasion. But <coughs> the, um, the the previous version of this this tool had the web browser control embedded right inside the spreadsheet. And as you can see, I've got the web browser control now on a pop-up form, and it makes a big difference because the embedding of the web browser in the more recent versions of Excel just does not function correctly, um, and there's likely a lot of deep level DLL settings um, and DLL calls that we could make to, to force it to work uh, but you want to keep it sort of light and simple and uh, so with a minimal amount of modification you can put the web browser control on a pop-up form and it works just like before and in fact maybe in some ways it's a bit smoother because you can kind of you know put the you know the window where you want and uh, so it works just like before as you click on uh, a cell with an address it'll launch the pop-up that's 701 First Avenue in Minneapolis and I can change the direction between north south east or west <coughs> uh, if I go to a different address of course get a different image and uh, it's pretty quick too um, if you click in a cell that does not contain a value the form closes uh, if you click in a cell that maybe has a value but does not have the title location, then the form doesn't pop up. So I, I added some code. So if I had another column with the heading location, um, and then under that I had some kind of value. So let's say I have uh, uh, Sears Tower. And you know what's kind of nice is that the Google Maps API will work even if you just have the landmark name right so now if I go to if I clicked on Sears Tower because I wrote the code to check to see if the column heading says the word location it now works um, so that's pretty cool um, but if I click here there's no data even though the heading says location so it doesn't load so I could do Staples Center so Sears Tower but Staples Center and there we go uh, yeah really fast so I will put the link for this uh, at the end of the video so you'll be able to download it and uh, I will leave the VBA code unlocked so you can see how it all works play around with it uh, let me know if you have any questions I have not yet put any actual VBA scripting demos on the channel but that is to come so if you're new to VBA <clears throat> and you need to learn how to start setting up your own macros and Im implementing objects like the user form and putting the web browser on the form and the drop down I'm gonna have a series of videos that talk about each of these kinds of components in detail uh, but for right now I wanted to hurry up and get this out here because again a number of you have asked for it I'm sorry for the delay but here it is so this is the new version of the Google Maps API I hope you like it if so click that like button and I hope you'll subscribe so you'll learn about more demos as I put them out there thanks a lot team and have a productive day peace